2016, I locked my boyfriend at the time, who is now my husband, in a drawer for two hours. Love you, honey. Obviously story time. So what had happened was, I invited Ben to come over while I was home alone. But the thing is, I wasn't allowed to have Ben over without my parents home. And my daddy specifically said if he ever caught me alone with Ben in the house that he would beat Ben's ass for not listening to him and then I would be grounded for a month. Yeah. But what 16 year old listens to their parents anyways? Am I right? But I'm like, whatever, you know, I'm sneaky. I gotta get my alone time in with my boo. I gotta do what I gotta do. So Ben comes over, we're chilling, we're cuddling, we're watching Netflix, you know the deal. While we were chilling, I hear a car pull into the driveway. I run to the window and I see my daddy coming out of the car. And I start panicking. There is no way that Ben could sneak out of the house without getting caught by my dad. So I had to improvise and come up with a plan. I was like, I have to hide this. I could have simply hid this man in the closet, but no, that wasn't good enough for me. So I'm like looking all around for a hiding spot and then boom, I find one. My bed at the time had this really big drawer at the bottom. This is basically what it looked like, but the drawer was on the side of the bed. I make Ben get inside that drawer. Ben is like five foot 10 and he has to like get inside the drawer. <laughs> So Ben's in the drawer, I shut the drawer, everything's fine, I get on the bed and I act like nothing's happened. My dad comes upstairs to my room, says hi, I came home from work early. And I'm just like, hey dad, hey, what's up? Are you gonna leave anytime soon? Are you gonna go back? <laughs> what did you need? Are you gonna leave soon? He's like, yeah, I just needed to grab some stuff from my office and his office is literally in front of my room. In the meantime, I'm literally texting Ben while he's in the drawer like, are you okay, honey? He's like, my legs are falling asleep. How much longer? I'm like, not long. He said he's leaving soon. 20 minutes go by. My dad has not left. Ben is literally begging me to get out of this drawer. And I'm just like, you better thug it out. A hour goes by. Ben texts me, I can't breathe, crying emoji. I'm getting out now. I was like, oh no, you're not. You're not. So I, I get off the bed and I sit in front of the drawer and I make sure he does not get out. An hour and a half later, my dad finally leaves. <laughs> I open the drawer, Ben's just like this. And I'm just like, you can come out now. And that's when I knew he was a keeper. Story time about how I caught my baby daddy with my best friend in my own bed. Disclaimer, this is not my story time. I sent me on Instagram. My baby and daddy and I are engaged to be married. Her baby is almost one year old and we've been happy up until now. The bad thing is that we rushed into our relationship. We never really took the time to really get to know each other. I don't know a lot about his childhood and I don't tell him about mine because he doesn't ask. We don't really know what each other's favorite colors are. You know, stuff like that. Then I got pregnant and everything changed. He asked me to marry him and I told him that we needed to be engaged for a while so that we could really get to know each other. At first he agreed, but then he started getting annoyed. He wanted to go out with his friends and be free, but we had a baby. This is where my best friend comes in. I'm a nurse and one of the things that I told my fiance was that I wanted to keep my job even after I had the baby. So my best friend started coming over to our place to take care of the baby. My fiance owns his own business, so he doesn't have to be there all the time. So he was basically home all the time with my best friend. And no, it never crossed my mind that they would ever do anything behind my back. Three weeks ago, I started noticing some really weird behavior between them. My best friend had a hickey on her neck and I started asking her who it was from. I just was curious, but my fiance yelled at me and told me to stop asking. Part two is up. St Part two of how I caught my baby daddy with my best friend in my own bed. Disclaimer, this is not my story time. It was sent to me on Instagram. When I asked my best friend about the ginormous hickey she had on her neck, my stupid baby daddy started yelling at me. He told me to leave her alone and to mind my own business. So I said, excuse me, she's my best friend and we talk about everything. That's when my best friend told me that she met someone new and that she was really happy about it. My baby daddy told me that I was nosy and he left the room. And that's when all the alarms went off. He had never behaved that way with me before, much less for my best friend. As soon as he left the room, I started interrogating my best friend and she looked guilty as hell i asked her who the new guy was and she wouldn't tell me i mean couldn't she have come up with a lie but secretly i knew that she wanted me to find out a few days later i start noticing more weird behavior my baby daddy asked me to go buy groceries after i got out of work and it was already 10 p.m he said that we really needed some things for the baby so i went to the supermarket it took me about an extra hour to get home after that which looking back now was plenty of time for him and my best friend to do whatever they wanted and when i got home my best friend looked guilty as hell again she was also wearing her shirt inside out when i asked her about it she started stuttering and once again my baby daddy jumped into defender he told me that i was being nosy again instead of trying to get information i decided i was going to catch him in the act i told my baby daddy i was going to stay at work late and i told my best friend the same thing but really i was a block away from our house part three is up
Part three of how I caught my baby daddy and my best friend in my bed. Disclaimer is not my story time with sending me an Instagram. Those fools didn't even bother to close the curtains. I waited 10 minutes and then I walked to the front yard. I started looking through the window, but I really couldn't see anything. I went to the side of the house and I started looking through another window and I could see that the door to our bedroom was open, which I knew I had closed before I left. I quietly unlocked the front door and that's when I see my baby on the couch all by himself. Yes, he was wrapped up in blankets and surrounded by pillows, but the fact that they left him by himself is what angered me the most. I quietly walked over to the bedroom and I could see them both laying on the bed. I thought my stomach was gonna fall out of my butt. I walked right into the bedroom, but they were too busy making out to even see that I was in the room. So I threw my purse right at their faces, but I was weirdly calm. The ones who were freaking out were them. My best friend got up from the bed and basically ran out of my house. She didn't even have the courage to face me. And all he did was sit on the bed and beg me for forgiveness. Then he begged me not to tell his mother. It's like all he really cared about was his mom not finding out that's when he confessed that his mom was helping him out financially and that his business was not doing well and that he really didn't want to upset her because she would stop giving him money so i grabbed my baby and our things and we went to my parents house my parents have a huge house with the pool and everything i don't need to be with him my parents offered to take me in and take care of us of course i'm continuing to work but should i tell my baby daddy's mom and i still haven't spoken to my best friend or ex best friend what the heck should i do Am I wrong for throwing away my husband's dinner after he went to eat at his mom's house? My mother-in-law calls every night to ask what we're having for dinner. Then she brags about what she's cooking to make me look bad, especially if we're getting takeout. I used to care, but not anymore. My husband would ask me to make dinner only for him to go to his mom's house, which is only 10 minutes away and eat her food. He always tries to use the excuse that she's making my favorite meal. Yesterday, I wanted to surprise him by cooking one of his favorite meals. And although I was busy, I took time off work to cook. I even went grocery shopping to get what I needed. Later, as I was setting the table his mom called i told him that he didn't have to answer but he did like usual she asked what we were having but acted surprised that i cooked this meal she then went on to tell him that she cooked some sort of meal and told him to come over he said okay which shocked me i said seriously as he started dressing up getting ready to leave he told me no offense but this meal that his mom had cooked was even more of a favorite than the one i cooked and grabbed his keys and left I felt awful. I took his plate and threw it out and then ate my portion. As I was about to put the plate in the dishwasher, he got home looking angry, saying his mom lied about cooking that favorite meal and used it as an excuse to force him to have dinner with her. I was shocked, but then he sat down telling me to go ahead and reheat dinner. <laughs> Please, okay, your ass love you and get a no dinner. I told him no dinner after he abandoned it and I threw it out. He said, what? And I told him that he disrespected my time and effort by choosing to go eat with his mom instead. He began yelling at me, asking me if I really did that and then called me petty and horrible, then went upstairs saying what I did was a hundred times worse than what his mom did. I definitely feel like I let my anger and frustration get the best of me, but it really felt unbearable having to live like this for so long. By the way, I'm 26 and he's 28. To make one thing clear, my husband only does this when it comes to food.